What is up guys, it is me, Trash Doll, so welcome back to another video, and today we're doing another Reborn review. This is the series where I kind of redo the reviews for my fans, a little bit more professional, a little bit shorter videos, short and sweet, better background, so let's get into it. Today we're doing my 1998 Lasco model 3733. This fan has a crazy story in how I got it, and I'm happy that it has entered the channel again because it hasn't been on the channel and I want to say over a year. I don't remember the last time I made a video on this fan. It might have even been a year or two years. So I'm very happy to get this back on the channel again. So welcome back, Lasco. I finally got it to my grandparents' house with all the other fans. So that is an achievement. So let's discuss this fan. So this was purchased not by me, by some contractors back in probably the 90s. They used it on a job site. One of my relatives is also a contractor, and they found this fan in the dump. So then my relative was using it, and using and abusing it for many years. Then at some point, I came along, and when I was really little, like four or five years old, I remember playing with this fan at my other grandparents' house in like the dining room. It was, I had this, it was a 2006 Galaxy that was plugged in, and some like 2011 Lasco modern fan and then it was this fan i love this fan the most because at the time i had the kid do three second gen and it reminded me the most of that because a little bit wider blades they had the motor that had like the similar like circular vents so i like this fan more at the time you know it was more cooler looking to me you know like going me i know i look really stupid but um whatever um so that happened um, when I left that day from playing with this fan, I haven't seen it again for probably four or five years. It went missing out of nowhere. Um, come to find out a bunch of years later in summer of 2020, I had found the fan in the corner of my other grandparents' garage. Someone put it there, probably my relative, and they forgot about it. So it was all rusted, all, all disgusting. The motor was rusted. It was terrible. It didn't work. Um, you plug it in, it'll just go, mm. so it was obviously very locked up. Me being a stupid idiot, I put the wrong oil in there, so that didn't help. I had to do an oil clean out one or two weeks ago, got all that oil out and replaced it with my motor oil, so now it runs like butter. So, um, this fan was really abused, um, like really abused, I mean it was thrown out and then reused and then basically thrown away again. And then I got my hands onto it. So this is a childhood fan. This is the same one I played with when I was five. The same fan, the same blade, same grill, same cabinet, everything. Just since it has been repainted because of the rust. So the but the blades and grills they haven't been repainted. They're still original. Um, so that's really cool. Um, kind of a wacky story. Truly is one. So this is one of the more sentimental fans in the collection. Definitely have a connection with this fan. When it came to my collection, it was stored under my bed. So I felt even more bad having it under the bed in the dark all the time because I was running out of room. So it, it gets to come at this grandparent's house now. It gets to be with the other fans in the bedroom, not under the bed. And so basically it's in a better environment now. So that was a good achievement. So I went from a really abusive life to now it, it basically is retired. Um, this fan is exempt from any use whatsoever. If I need a fan in the window, I have 20 other fans I can use. I need a fan to run overnight, I have 20 other fans I can use. This fan is basically exempt from running at any time um, just for videos. Because this fan has been through so much that I, it's immediately retired. So, that is the last go. Plus the motor is very weak. This motor averages around 2 amps. Um, what it, like what it's supposed to be. When I ran this on kilowatt meter, it was 1.6. So it definitely is degraded a little bit, sadly. Um, the medium coil is really effed. It doesn't work. So, um, it, I mean, it does work not very well. It's very similar to low, or my other 90s last goes like a very strict medium. This fan um, doesn't really have that strict medium. It's very degraded. It's almost like two low speeds. Um, so yeah, this fan's really been pushed and shoved, so, 
that's a little bit of the backstory of the last go. So now you kind of will open your eyes a little bit. And you're probably thinking, how is this thing sitting here? This thing's how many years old now? 22, I think. 20 years old, something like that. 20 years old. It's been thrown out basically twice, left alone, abused two different by two different people. And rusted and weathered, and it's still standing with the still or factory original motor. How the heck is this thing still standing? It's beyond me. These things could take beating. And that just shows you a vintage fan is better than a modern fan by far. Um, a modern fan would probably take one year of that abuse and it'd be dead. So props to the last go for dealing with that for like 10, 15 years. Anyways, enough, enough said. Let's get this thing um, shown off. So we have the later Lasco grill. This is the very late 90s that they used until the early 2000s with the Lasco K-Flag logo, which is my favorite of the logos. Um, the other 90s Lascos don't have the logo in the middle. Some of them, if you got the GBL, might have it in the corner there, but mine has the traditional um, whatever. This is when Lasco went back, because in the 80s they did this with the square logo. In the 90s they stopped. And then the 2000s, they're doing this again. So this is like when they start doing this again. These are the 90s D-shaped blades, the same ones from like 91. Um, they use the same uh, model. So that's the grill and the blades. Here's the side. This is the thinner cabinet. This is the thinner than the other fans from the 90s. So like my 93 would have been 5 inches. This I think is 4.5 inches, 4.7 inches. It's very thin. That a little bit better. Um, I'm using a new tripod, so I'm not getting close ups anymore, at least for now, until I learn how to do that better. So I'm just checking. So there's this side. This was repainted in uh, like an electric blue. Um, again, the whole thing was rusted, like almost through everywhere. So this had to be carefully repainted and sanded. Um, good paint job. If I could go back in time, I would actually do a clear coat so I can get a little bit more shine, but I'm not complaining. There's the other side. Both sides don't have any scratches on them because it's been repainted. And the paint was only done two years ago, so what what damage could have been done? Here is the top. Um, they got the later handle. This is the handle they still use to this day. Um, these are yellowed. I might have to salon here them. This is the later 90s speed. I wouldn't say sticker speed thing, whatever. Um, I did that with the Sharpie. I colored in the numbers because the numbers were kind of sanded a little bit. I didn't sand them. They were, they, were, they were just weathered. The plastic was degraded. You couldn't really read the numbers. You could very barely read them, like with reading glasses. So I just took a Sharpie, and I wherever I could see where the plastic used to be, I just put the numbers. So I think it looks really good. Um, yeah. And then this is the, obviously, it's all original here. So let's turn this around. These are all original screws, which is impressive. Uh, three of them were replaced. Those are on the back. Yeah, so you're probably thinking, what the heck is that motor? So let's talk. That is the original factory motor, yes. It has been repainted white, like a Macmillan, because it was rusted almost through, like the whole fan was. This has the wide braces, which is kind of interesting to see. Um, let me try to rate that brightness. I'm sorry for the darkness here. Um, yeah, I'm starting to lose daylight. So yeah, it's a Marco motor. Again, it's it's advertised as two amps, but this fan averages at 1.6 on the kilowatt meter. So again, it is very slowed down, very worn out. Might die soon. I don't know, but um still standing so that's what matters it's got like i said the two wide braces these are uh, i don't know when lasco started using the white braces but this is one of the fans this has got a different back grill it's basically a copy of the front but it doesn't have the logo and it has these little skinny pieces of plastic that run through between the slats i don't know why um and it's got these little blades here on the inside i don't know what that's for you can't see that on camera then we have three uh wide head screws here these are replacement screws because you know there was three missing so that has been done and this this foot is not original um that is one of my feet that i have for fans that tip over 
that's a generic fan foot from some other modern fan that I throw away. So, and it's been painted red, um, but that, that is not original. I just have it on the fan because it tips over on high. The bottom, if I can get there, because this cord is like five feet long, four feet. Again, no scratches. It's got the little diamonds here. If you, I don't know if you can see that. Um, doesn't have the information on it. I can't see it. Somewhere it has the year, right here. 1998 to 1999. I just say 1998 because it sounds cooler. Um, so that is that. Let me make sure the brightness is good. I'm sorry for, I'm so sorry for walking in front of the camera so many times. I'm not used to having a, this is a brand new tripod I got for my birthday and it's very, very tall. Um, like almost my, pretty much my height, so I'm not used to this. And it's very wide on the feet. Here's high. Mmm, it's a rip sound. Yeah, I have worse. Blows air. Used and abused, still works. Take it down to medium. Mm, looks like medium's working a little bit. I don't know where that rattling is coming from. Sorry for any wind noise. I don't have any way to suppress it. Drop it down below. This is a very nice low. I could sleep with this. <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, this is a nice blow. And it doesn't have that weird Lasco kiss. Some of them like go like that. This doesn't do that. Thank God, because that's annoying. Only Lasco seemed to do that in the early 2000s, but this one didn't have that problem. Very nice. Let's kick it up to high. Go to medium. It's a slow, you know what I mean? That coil is not very good. It's fine. And off. Spend on time was really, really good last weekend. So, I haven't touched this in a week, so we'll see. Oh man, look at that spin down. I think it might have been last weekend I did the motor split procedure. I did the oil clean out. So, pretty good. Not a bad spin down at all. Because the spin down used to be like 8 seconds, like the um, P33, 3rd gen. So, yeah, that is my last go. 37-33 from 1998. If you enjoyed this video, that is great. I'll have more up like this, and see you guys in the next one.